radical equation, there's two methods. The first one is the parent function, y is equal to the square root of x, with key points 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 2, and 9, 3. So if we could remember these key points for the radical graph, we could graph it as a transformation where we shift each point up by 2. That is what the equation is telling us. So if I were to use the transformation, this is what the new graph is going to look like. Now let's say you're someone who isn't familiar with the parent graph. You could just use a table. And you want to use x's that are easy to work with or that are perfect squares. So we're talking about 0, 1, 4, and 9. So when we plug in 0, we're going to get a y value of 2. That's the first point. When we go when x is 1, the square root of 1 is just 1, plus 2 gives us a y of 3. And then when we go on to when x is 4, square root is 2. When we add 2, that's 4. And then when we do it for the last ordered pair, when x is 9, we know our y value is going to be 5. So this is another way for us to graph radical equations, whether it's by transformations or making a graph.